it, it sounds like it's in the past tense, question that he asks. But in reality, I believe that Jesus is constantly asking probing questions of each of us. As we desire to, to get deeper and deeper into our relationship uh, with him through the Holy Spirit that dwells in our hearts, I, I believe that Jesus continues to question us. Questions as simple as what do you want? Questions as simple as where do you want to go? Simple as what do you want me to do? And, and, I, and I, I don't know about you, but I sense uh, as I advance more and more in my years of service to the Lord that, that he wants to have an incredible exchange with us day by day, moment by moment. As a matter of fact, I was sharing with Joey uh, before the service that uh, more and more I, I'm, I'm trying to be, to obey the, the little probings that uh, the Spirit of God has in, in, in me. And, uh, and for some reason, I, I, I neglected to listen just recently, and, uh, and something backfired, and, and of course, we had to run around and do so many different things. Uh, sometimes it's just take the time to listen. Take the time to be obedient to the Word of God. Uh, Norman, you don't have to do it right now, but sometime in the next 25 minutes, I want you to remember the question you asked me of yesterday. I think it was yesterday when we were out. You know, something that, that really challenged me and, and my response, remember, was that somehow I don't really understand the person. Remember that? My, my response was, I don't understand blank. You know, I'd ask, what's one of the hardest things for you to, I think the question you had, you said was, one of the hardest things for you to understand. And my response was, and, and that's just a little teaser for, for those of you who can stay for uh, the discussion group in our Bible study. Because today, today we're going to analyze something that everybody assumes, but I think no 